What is going on everybody and welcome to another Sockets with Python tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about pickles, not the food, but instead the serialization in Python. So real quick, if you don't know what pickling is in Python, it is the serialization or I think we can call that flattening as well and there's probably other terms for it, but what does that mean? We're converting it to bytes. What are we doing with bytes with sockets? We're sending them. So putting that all together means we can send and receive things we've pickled in Python via sockets. Now, what can we pickle in Python? Objects. And what's an object in Python? Everything. <laughs> so we can pickle pretty much everything in Python. And basically what this means for us with sockets is that we can send and receive these Python objects. So anything that we're doing in a Python script, we can send and receive that, you know, whatever it might be. Maybe you're training a machine learning model and you want to share that model amongst many machines, or you've got some sort of shared database, or, you know, who knows what, what exactly you're doing. Just, you know, that you can send and receive that information with Python. So any object you have in Python, any data structure, whatever, it you can serialize it with pickle and then send it. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, so if you don't know any, if you already know things about pickle, don't worry. We're going to send and receive exactly what I'm going to build here. Uh, if you don't know anything about pickle, it's pretty simple. So we're going to go import pickle. And just for the record, you can also save pickles as files. So you don't only transmit pickle data like between two programs. Many times you're actually just going to save that Python object uh, using pickle. Anyway, uh, so the first thing we want to do is just come up with some sort of example of a thing that we're going to save. So I'm going to say it's just we're just going to use a dictionary for now. Um, just some, anything, ar some arbitrary Python object uh, will do. So we'll just say, hey, there. Okay, and that's the object we want to send. But again, it doesn't have to be a dictionary. And also, if you were doing a dictionary, you also could just use like JSON or something. <laughs> like to you convert it to a string, send it as bytes, convert it back out, use JSON. You'd be good to go. So you don't actually, you wouldn't use pickle for probably a dictionary. Uh, but again, you can use pickle for anything, whereas like JSON is one structure. Uh, you wouldn't be able to do everything with JSON. So, okay. So that's the thing that we want to pickle. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to just say message. The message we want to receive later is going to be pickle.dumpsd. And we can just print message real quickly to see, OK, here's what we've got. Basically, we do have the string data that we can see here. Um, we also, I don't see the number, but it's probably there somewhere. Anyway, um, and then we've got some gobbledygook that is the, um, the information that is contained within the actual structuring of what a dictionary is and how we can interact with it and all that. Cool. So now we want to send this information. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to cut that, come over here, come down here, fix that. Okay, get rid of this loop. We don't, we're not going to loop anymore. And the message now, uh, let me just get rid of the first one, paste this one in. So now our message is that pickle dump, but we also, we still want to use that header again because the thing we pickle might very easily exceed our buffer size. So we need to be able to handle for that. So the way that we're going to do that is actually going to be, we'll convert this because this is already bytes, right? So we just need to convert this to bytes. So bytes, that, and then what kind of bytes? You, UTF-8 bytes. Okay, so that's the message that we want to send. We no longer have to convert it here to bytes because it's already bytes. And we're good to go um, on the server. Now we just need to fix every, some a few things on the client side. Uh, the first thing would be the full message here should be bytes. Then uh, the information that we want to receive should be pretty much all the same. The only thing I wouldn't do, you know, like no longer are we going to decode UTF-8. It's just going to be message. When the full message is received, we're going to unpickle it. So let's go ahead and import pickle. Come down here. Um, so full message received, here it is. Uh, but first we need to load it in. So we're just going to say copy that. We're going to say D equals pickle dot load s that thing and then let's print d save that come over here and now let's run these two things python uh, server dot pi good to go and finally python client dot pi 
So, uh, full message received, this is what it looks like to us, because uh, that also contains, um, actually, I can't remember if we trimmed off the header. Anyway, full message received looks something like that. Once we've uh, loaded it with pickle, there's our actual Python object that we sent using pickle. So, super cool. If that doesn't excite you, you are either not nerdy enough or you just don't understand. Because <laughs> now you can send literally anything in Python that you're working with. So if you've got some script, it's doing something, you've got two scripts that can share this data between each other, either locally or remotely. So that's freaking awesome. Speaking of awesome, a uh, quick shout out to my most recent channel members, Isabella Shower. You are amazing. Kirill Groshenkov, just, just incredible. Henry Demena, awesome. And Sundar Balaji, spectacular. Thank you guys very much for your support. You guys are all awesome. So uh, that's it for now. In the next tutorial, I think we're going to wrap everything up with a an example with a chat bot. Or not chat bot. I always want to say chat bot. Anytime I say chat, I wonder if I've made that mistake so far in this series. Anyways, probably. Anyway, I want to make a chat server. Uh, so that'll kind of bring everything together and allow us to show one more concept that we haven't yet shown, select. Um, and yeah, that'll be pretty cool. So anyway, questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. You can also join the Discord, discord.gg slash Centex. If you want to support the channel, you can click that beautiful blue join button that just beckons for you to click on it. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys in another video.